common tasks for data manipulation and presentation. In this section, we will discuss a series of recipes that will help us present the data in the right format as well as manipulate the data so that we can show it easily and effectively in the front end in a report or dashboard. So let's look at the first recipe. Formatting date and numeric values. In this recipe, we will discuss how we can format dates and numeric values so that it can be presented in a report or dashboard as per the desired format. So let's jump directly into ClickSense and see it in action. So here I am in the ClickSense and I'm creating a new app and I'm giving it a new name like uh, DataViz and this will create a new app. So our database is created. I will open this app and then import the data. So I will go in the add data files and here it will ask me to take the data from the file location. So I will go to my computer C and to the location where my file is stored and uh, then I will going to load the file. So what I'm going to load the file is this file. Here, what I have already done is basically a date, which is not in a proper format. And that is sometimes is a case when you are fetching the data from an automated system. From there, you don't get the dates in the right format. Usually when you are getting the data in the Excel file or sometimes in CSV, the date format is like a proper date format. But to show it how you can format the data, I have converted this date format into a text value so that we can see it. If this is the case you are encountering, then how you can format the data. So I'll go ahead and click on add data. It will take just one second uh, to load the data. And now let's close this and go into the edit sheet. So order date is the field where those dates are present. So if I go into the charts and uh, go into the filter pane and add the dimension, which is order date, you will see that a number is coming. So whenever you encounter such scenario where dates are not coming properly, what you can do is use the date function. So over here, if I go in the expression over here, you will use the date function, which is D-A-T-E. And then you will write the format on which you want. So let's say I want in MM, DD, and YYYY in this format. Then I'll just specify the format and click apply. And as I apply, click on apply, the date format is given to us. And once I click done, I can verify my format so that I'm getting the right output. So based on the needs, you can change the format as you want. So apart from date, you also have sometimes a requirement where you need to format the numerical data. So for that, what I'll take is another filter pane over here. And I will add a dimension, which is sales. So over here, we have sales. And to format this, let's say this needs to be formatted as a proper dollar format. So what I can do is I can go into the field again instead of date because that was specifically for date here. We will going to use the num function. And after that, we can specify the format in single quotation and it should start with hash comma hash hash. This is a very a simple format that I've taken. You can make it as complex as you want based on your needs by looking at the date format. So I'll click apply. And here my date is formatted as per my needs. So once I click on done, here my date is format as per what I need for my front end presentation. So that's about how you can format date and numeric value as per your needs so that you can present it in the front end.